13 News Now begins in storm mode. A storm spinning off our coast, bringing some heavy rain, a lot of wind, and some very rough waters. 13 News Now is in storm mode, tracking a coastal flood advisory from the peninsula to the south side and parts of North Carolina. Good Thursday morning, everybody. It's coming up on 6 a.m. I'm Vanessa Coria. And I'm Lucy Bustamante. The rain and the wind hit Hampton Roads hard yesterday, and the wet weather is not over. No, it's not. We have team coverage of the rough weather for you. Let's start with Weather Authority meteorologist Craig Moeller. All right, guys. And as you know, we are in storm mode coverage right now, and the wet weather isn't helping out the ride in downtown Norfolk, but it does appear some roads that were flooded earlier are starting to dry out. Let's go back out live to 13 News Now reporter Carl Limer at Bush Street and Only Avenue. Carl? Right now, the State Transportation Board is considering a change to weekend closures at the downtown tunnel. Every weekend, the westbound tube is closed right now, forcing drivers to find alternative ways to get from Norfolk to Portsmouth. Portsmouth City Council wants the state to change the eastbound tube to two-way traffic during the closures. The state transportation secretary is considering the safety of this idea. Well, some pretty scary moments during a hot air balloon show. One of those balloons came crashing onto power lines. Look at that fire. Just ahead, find out how the people on board are doing today. Plus, the feds are getting tough on the company linked to a salmonella outbreak. Hear how long the company has to get itself together or get shut down. 611 now. We know about flooded roads here in Hampton Roads, but we don't have to deal with anything quite like this. Coming up, find out where this flood and mudslide happen and what may be to blame. Right now, in Washington, D.C., the negotiations to solve the debt crisis are kicking into high gear. Later today, President Obama will meet with about a dozen Republican lawmakers to find a solution. Their focus will be finding a budget solution and putting an end to the government shutdown. If lawmakers fail to reach an agreement by next Thursday, the country will default on its debt. The company linked to chicken contaminated with salmonella could soon be shut down. That's the threat the Department of Agriculture is issuing today. The feds say the California poultry company has until today to find a solution to this problem. Chicken from the company has sickened nearly 300 people in more than a dozen states with salmonella, but the company has not issued a recall. The Agriculture Department is worried there may be sanitation issues at the company. A hot air balloon comes crashing down when it hits power lines. You can see the fiery accident in the sky that happened in New Mexico. Police say that police fell, or they say the balloon fell about 40 feet to the ground, and two men on board had to be taken to the hospital. The balloon was taking part in the Albuquerque. Turkey International Balloon Fiesta when this accident occurred. Well, a man is facing charges after taking an ambulance on a joyride. It happened in San Antonio, Texas, and police say that the man stole an ambulance while paramedics were treating a hurt person nearby. The situation quickly turned into a chase with the ambulance hitting several cars as the driver tried to get away. The driver was eventually caught and arrested. It was an intense rescue mission as emergency crews in Arlington pulled a man from a 15-foot shaft. Police say a man was walking in a parking garage when a grate beneath him gave way. He fell, hitting the concrete below. It took all day, but as you can see, crews finally got the man back to the surface and rushed him to the hospital. Right now, investigators are working to determine what caused the grate to fail in the first place. A water main break leads to a small mudslide out in California. Take a look at the mess on your screens in the middle of the freeway out there in Los Angeles. First responders say a broken water main flooded an embankment, sending mud and debris down a hillside. The mess stopped traffic on the road as crews worked to remove the mud and rocks. One commuter said it took him an hour and a half to get from one freeway exit to the next. Well, right now, Hampton Roads is in storm mode as a strong storm moves up the coast, battering the Outer Banks and Hampton Roads. We have some pictures from all over the viewing area showing the power of the storm. This is in Kitty Hawk. The storm whipped up strong waves on the beaches there, and then the winds took their toll on Virginia Beach as well. A truckload of sand was dumped onto Gromit Island Park. And then the rain and the tides were a very big problem in Norfolk. Some parts of the city, like this street in Larchmont, were left underwater. And then the tides rose so high in downtown Hampton that many places saw water at their doorsteps. And we really are not seeing an end to this, are we, Craig? No, it looks like the water is going to continue to be high today. 
And we are starting day two of storm mode, and we have got complete coverage of the weather that's affecting you. So stay tuned. Craig will tell you when the rain will hit and how much of it you're going to see. Plus, 13 News Now reporter Carl Limer is boots on the ground for us right now. He has the latest on any flooding out there around Hampton Roads. And then we have a neighborhood safety alert for you. Hear what happened to a child in Hampton that has parents on alert this morning. 13 News Now begins in storm mode. Heavy winds, rain, and flooding are hitting Hampton Roads right now, and it is not over yet. 13 News Now in storm mode throughout the overnight hours. And this morning, we have live team coverage on weather conditions. As you get ready to head out the door, Carl is covering flooding conditions, Craig is tracking the storm, and Ashley is monitoring the roads. And let's get right to it. I'm Vanessa Corey. It's coming up on 6.30 on your Thursday morning. And I'm Lucy Bustamante in for LaSalle. We're going to take you outside in just a moment, but first, we do need to start our team coverage with meteorologist Craig Muller. He's been uh, keeping a close eye on this very active radar. A lot of green on there still. Yeah, and right now the green that I have turned on on this. Our storm mode coverage continues at the Midtown Tunnel. That's where there were some problems overnight. The ramp from Route 58 East to Brambleton Avenue had to be closed because of flooding. 13 News Now reporter Carl Limer is live with an update for us. Carl? Yeah, and the good news is that... To Hampton now, where police are beefing up patrols near a popular park. Police say a young man approached a 10-year-old boy this past weekend at Gosnold Hope Park. Officers say the young man gave the child a pill and the boy swallowed it. According to investigators, other children claim to have also been approached. The boy is okay, but the incident has some Hampton parents concerned. My children are very young, and if they were in the park playing and, you know, they came across an adult that told them to take something, my gut would tell me they might be tempted to take it because they have been taught to, you know, look up to adults and to listen to adults. If you know anything that can help police with this case, you're asked to give them a call. Our storm mode coverage continues. Coming up. Our crews are out in the field. Just ahead, we're going to find out where you could run into some slick spots out there on the roadways. We're checking in with 13 News Chaser Jason Walsh. The winds have been gusting this morning. As if we need another battle, a mm. budget battle is brewing in Washington. Up next, more on the tough talk in Congress today about raising the government's debt limit next week. We're going live to our man on Capitol Hill next. The government shutdown, as you know, is still in effect. It has been 10 days, and yesterday, death benefits were restored for military families. The Pentagon announced the nonprofit group, the Fisher House Foundation, will make the payments. The Pentagon typically pays out $100,000 within three days of a service member's death. But because of the shutdown, that wasn't happening. Also on Wednesday, the House voted unanimously in favor of restoring the death benefits. Well, we have new information on a shooting at a federal courthouse in West Virginia. Police say that a retired police officer was the gunman in yesterday's shooting. According to authorities, Thomas Picard fired up to two dozen shots at the courthouse in Wheeling before police returned fire and killed him. Three on-duty security officers were also injured by flying debris. A photo of a California high school principal with a student in a chokehold. A chokehold like restraint, that is, is going viral. Take a look at your screens. Principal Todd Whitmire says he had to restrain this teenager because she refused to stop fighting last Friday. But the 15 year old student in the photo claims her neck was injured by the principal. 12 students have been suspended following the fight. 10 of them were suspended for sharing this photo. New video into the newsroom overnight of a train crash in Texas. It was all caught on camera. Take a look at this. That is the sound of a train crashing into a flatbed truck. The truck got stuck on the railroad crossing in Midland, Texas, just five minutes before the crash. And thankfully, the driver of that truck was able to get out of his cabin before the train hit it. The train came to a stop about half a mile after the crash, and it was still pushing the truck. Nobody got hurt. Happening right now, long-distance swimmer Diana Nyad is still going strong after more than 45 hours in the swimming pool. She has just a couple of hours left on her nonstop 48-hour swim to raise money for Superstorm Sandy victims. So far, she's raised more than $72,000. She began doing her swimming laps on Tuesday morning in this New York City pool. Nyad says she expects this swim to obviously be a whole lot more fun than her record-breaking shark-infested jellyfish swim from Cuba 
to Florida. The pool just seems so peaceful in there. Peaceful and a whole <laughs> lot easier. I think after no 48 weight. hours, though, you're still ready to yeah. get out. Yeah, of you pool. forget where you are at that point. <laughs> she's a beast, though, man. Yeah, she, she's, she's amazing. amazing. Yeah, more yeah. power to her. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to all have to have some more power to get through the next round of high tides. Uh -huh. But I think there's some light at the end of the tunnel. I know you guys have been waiting for this. Over it. We've got some showers. Where's my you know beach what? day, Craig? That's, That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> you can go to the beach. Just be prepared for wind and it's rain and work. high tides. <laughs> not the kind of beach day you were hoping for. And a check of this morning's top stories is straight ahead. Stick with us. You're watching the team at 13 News Now at Daybreak. A very wet night in Hampton. Roads did not help the flooding problems on the road. 13 News Now reporter Carl Limer has been all over the area for us all morning long, keeping an eye on some trouble spots for us. He's live in Norfolk right now, Carl. Yeah, it's raining right now. As you know, 13 News Now is in storm mode and has been all morning long. We want to continue our team coverage of the conditions outside and what you can expect when you do head out the door. For that, we go live to 13 News Chaser Jason Walsh. He's been checking the roads for us. Jason? That is looking a little bit better out there. It certainly is. And here's some good news for folks. VDOT has lifted restrictions on the I-64 reversible roadway. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday looking much brighter. Yes. Tidal flooding still an issue. We'll keep you updated throughout GMA. Light at the end of the tunnel, my friends. <laughs> Just keep looking down the road. Have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for coming, Lucy.